Facebook page like ads are a little bit different than the other campaigns you may already be running on Facebook. I say this because you don't set them up in Business Manager, you set it up in your Facebook page. So this video will show you what access level you will need in order to create a page like ads campaign. We'll walk through the step-by-step -step setup, and then to close out the video, we'll show you how page like ads can help your other campaigns. We don't recommend page like ads as your sole marketing strategy, but if you are running other campaigns or plan on running other Facebook campaigns, we will show you how page like ads can benefit those additional efforts. As I said in the intro, you create Facebook page like ads on your Facebook page. So in order to do that, you have to make sure that you have the proper page role to run ads via the Facebook page. So there's a couple ways that we can do this, especially if you're the one granting access to someone else. If you're already logged in via the Facebook page, you can click on manage, then you will want to go to page access via our business manager account. We already have partner access, so that gives us full rights to everything. We'll show you how to do that soon, but maybe you only want to assign certain roles. So for people with task access, if you add new, let's just go to next, I'm going to search for someone really quick. And there we see a few different levels of how you can grant someone access. This is the paid media pros channel. We're talking about ads here. So it's pretty clear cut that you would want them to at least have ads access. And then I would click give access. The user would be notified and then they could start going in. If I X out of this, you could go up to people with Facebook access. This is pretty much like using the business suite or business manager, but I think it's easier to maintain the access levels within that interface. So let's just jump up to that tab. So here we are in the business settings. You can find that by going up to the all tools menu could be under your shortcuts, but it's going to be under the manage business section. But you can see I am on the pages section and that's where you can add a person or a partner. If you go through these steps, you're going to get something similar to what I see in these drop downs for things that we've already added. So from a partner status, if you give full control, that's going to automatically give the Facebook access we saw within the manage settings on your Facebook page. Let me go down to a person and you can see we have the same thing. So full control via the business settings will automatically give users access to the Facebook page. Again, you have to do it within the pages section. There's a few different areas where you may have to add your partner. So again, it's gotta be on the pages, but as long as they have access somehow, we can hop back into a Facebook page and start walking through page like ads setup. Now let's start creating our Facebook page like ads campaign to do this, go to ad center on your Facebook page. And then if this is your first time doing it, there's a few different options that we have. We'll see a create ad button down here, but there's also one up top right above the tool section. You can click either one. It doesn't matter. Next, you will have to choose your ad type. I'm going to go with create new ad. Then first you can look at the goal. What results would you like from this ad? Currently it's set to automatic. I'm going to want to change that and let Facebook know I want to get more page likes. So then we can save it. And not sure if you caught it, the sign up call to action button changed to the Facebook thumbs up. So that is the call to action that is going to be on the ad. Users will like your page and we can see that right down there. That is the button label, a page like here. You can go up and edit your description. They're pulling the main image from our page banner. You do have the option to go and change it. As you can see, it doesn't have to be an image. You could still use video. And if you're curious about the exact specs that you can use for page like ads for either images or videos, just go to this link right here. If you click on the link, it'll already be selected to the page like campaign objective. So if you start messing around and changing the objective or start messing around with certain placements on it, you might lose the page like objective, but this is where you should start. I'm going to leave it as is to make it as simple as possible so we can keep on moving. If you're in a special ad category, you still have to define it. Even if you're just promoting ads via the Facebook page, and then you can get down to your audience section. It's first going to start off with a smart audience that Facebook is going to use to try to reach the best people who will complete the goal that we have selected of page likes. So initially Facebook has us targeting the United States ages 18 to 65 plus people who match the interests of online advertising, not a bad start. And they left detailed targeting expansion on. If we want to make certain changes, we can click on the pencil button and maybe you want to add some more interests there. I just added one more. So this is the best that we have. Now, since I'm editing the audience that they have already created, I'll have to save this audience. There we see few others updated, and that would be the audience that I would go with. However, we do see some other options. You can choose people you choose through targeting. And here's where we would edit things again, pretty much the same thing as editing the smart audience. So I'd only use this option if their initial smart audience was way off base in other campaigns you create on your Facebook page, you can target people who like your page and we're going to get to that. That is a big value or just people in your local area, depending on what type of business you are. Next, we can look at the duration. You can make it an evergreen ad and run it continuously, 
or as we just saw, you can have a specific end date. And next, you can adjust your daily budget. We can see in the estimates off to the side at $5 a day with the location, interest, and age targets that I had selected, they're showing me my potential reach and an estimated five to 18 page likes per day. If I look at just doubling it, you see that the page likes didn't increase that much. Essentially, it did not double like I doubled my budget. So maybe I do wanna bring it back down. I'll see how that does first, and then I can look at scaling later if I want to. Next, you can review your placements and other campaigns that you may create via the Facebook page, like boosting a post, that sort of thing, and you have a different goal selected, you could look at reviewing placements. But I can't change anything here because I'm trying to boost likes to my Facebook page. So they're not gonna show it on those other placements. And then you could choose your pixel, and then you would add your payment method, and then choose promote now. So there it is. It says our ad is created. They're gonna review if it meets the policies within 24 hours or less. So then we can go back to Ad Center. Once you're back in Ad Center, you will most likely see a preview for your ads. There's the page like one that we just created. I'll be able to see total spend, total page likes, and the reach. You can get a little bit more specific by going to view results. And here's where I can edit the audience, edit my ad. Once this campaign is out of review, I'll be able to update some of the details. Like this one, I said run continuously, but if I wanna pause it, I can just come back to Ad Center and do it within this page. But I can't make any changes right now while it's still under review. So let's say your page likes campaign has been running for some time and you're using your page like ads along with all the wonderful things that you're doing organically, as well as other brand awareness on other channels just to build your Facebook following. Well, what can you do with this? Because building Facebook page likes is great, but there's one easy strategy that you can set up next to do more with all the page likes that you're getting. And to do that, this is when I wanna hop into Ads Manager. Once you're in Business Manager, head on over to the Audiences section. You can find it by once again going to your All Tools section. I still have it in my shortcut because I use it all the time, but if you need to scroll down a bit, you'll find it under Advertise. Once you're in that section, go up to Create Audience and then look at and then create a custom audience. For the custom audience source, I'm gonna go down and choose Facebook Page. Click Next. I already have my Facebook page selected, but for events, I want to change this. And then I'm gonna switch it to people who currently like or follow your page. We see that if anyone unfollows or unlikes the page, they're removed from this audience. That's okay. I wanna create this audience to get in front of people who like to engage with my brand. I could include more people here if I wanted to and widen the audience out a little bit more. I would only do this if you don't have a lot of page likes and that audience isn't gonna be large enough to serve. One thing that is interesting and you may notice is that the audience doesn't expire, meaning there isn't really a look back window of just 30 days, just 60 days, 180 days. And as it said earlier, the audience is gonna update just depending on who likes or follows your page. So the more effort you're putting into building the likes, go in and create this Facebook custom audience. So then you can get back in front of those users with whatever ad message you wanna put in front of them. Here, let me save this quick, create the audience. I'm good with that. Now let me go up to another tab where I can show you how we can add it to an ad set. So then when you get to your ad set, just scroll down to the audience section. We can search for the custom audiences. There's a Facebook page like the one that we created. This is just a dummy account that I created a long time ago. It's not even the Paid Media Pros account, but I'm assuming your business page will have a good amount of likes, or if you're putting effort to it, you're gonna see that continue to grow. So this could be a good option to potentially boost any organic posts that may be suppressed and not getting the organic reach that you want to your current followers who you know are gonna be interested in what you're talking about, what you're trying to promote. Or maybe you know that people who like to follow your page are already invested in your brand. They're more likely to sign up for something, buy something from your website, so on, so on. You can use this audience to get in front of users who hopefully are more engaged. And we've seen that by boosting posts to our current followers, we do see better engagement. We do get more shares. And when we get a lot more people sharing it, that's how we can really stretch out the organic reach and get more bang for our buck. As I said in the intro, we don't like to use Facebook page like ads solely on their own. We will do it if a client demands it, but we like to have that next step remarketing strategy in place to really see if just boosting page likes is actually beneficial to the business. You'll be able to monitor your page likes campaign within Ad Center on your Facebook page, but after that campaign is launched, you will be able to see certain results within Ads Manager as well. If you have any other questions on Facebook page like ads, or maybe some ideas on what to do with the audience after you've created it within Business Manager, please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it useful, give us a thumbs up below. We release a new video at least once a week, so if you want to see more from the Paid Media Pros channel, be sure to subscribe.